Getting water in Kenya is a daily struggle. Whether for farming or domestic use, there's simply not enough. What little is available is shared by thousands, polluted, or the animals get there first. And those who have it, waste it. Water scarcity in Kenya in general is a problem. And uh, we have seen a lot of change over time. We used to have a lot of rain and we used to have bounty of crop harvest. With the increase of population and environmental degradation, we have seen this amount of water decreasing. The IAEA is working closely with the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, known as CARI, on projects that use nuclear and isotopic techniques to help farmers make the most efficient use of their scarce water supplies. Experts here also conduct research on an efficient crop water system that's supported by nuclear science. Here is a site for testing drip irrigation equipment for small-scale farmers. So we are using the soil moisture neutron probe to see about water use efficiency of different crops. Then these are the results that we are able to give to the farmers and we can tell the farmer to apply water in the right amounts. Then they are able to save a lot of water and also they are able to get more crops, better crops, because of that efficient water application. The Maasai, who live in this region, located in an arid area on the Tanzanian border, are the latest Kenyan community to benefit from the IAEA's expertise in drip irrigation. The drip system applies tiny drops of water directly at the plant's roots. It saves water up to 50% compared with other forms of irrigation, and avoids overwatering, which can damage the crops and pollute surrounding waterbeds. Drip irrigation has various advantages. One of them is that we are able to use the little amount of water that we have to irrigate vegetables, which are going to improve our nutrition of our children. And even we are able to raise some income after selling some of the vegetables that we raise from the garden. The Maasai are traditionally livestock farmers. But as grazing land becomes scarce, they're turning to agriculture as a source of income and food. Their fresh water comes from a borehole, financed under a project initiated by the Green Belt Movement to improve the health and livelihoods of the Maasai people. But having a water source is only part of the solution. Farmers need to know how to use it properly, and this is where the nuclear techniques play a vital role. It will be very presumptuous to say that it will work without involving modern technology. And if we just go uh, traditionally irrigating our crops without having a basis, a scientific basis, we might find ourselves failing and maybe coming in conflict with the community which still considers water as more important to their livestock than any other activity. The Kari team from Nairobi monitors the progress at all the IAEA sites in Kenya and trains farmers on how to implement the water-saving techniques. In turn, they transfer this knowledge further to other members of their community. <laughs> These Maasai women have something to celebrate. Their drip irrigation system is successful and their crops are healthy. The agency is currently operating drip irrigation projects in 19 African countries, helping farmers to save money, protect the environment and grow better crops.
Ayamba.